हेलो माई फैमिली मेम्बार्स आई एम गिविंग ग्यारंटी अफ गेटिंग कमन क्वेश्चन फ्रम सीडो कोड सेक्शन फर एक्सेंचर ऑन कैम्पास और अफ कैम्पास ड्राइव इफ यू हैव सल्वड अल द सीडो कोड एंड प्रोग्रामिंग लजिक क्वेश्चन इन दिस चैनल इफ यू हैव नट वाच प्लीज वाच दैट लिंक उल बी गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बक्स रईट टूडे एगेन उथ केम उथ प्रोग्रामिंग लजिक क्वेश्चन हुई आर कलेक्शन अफ ऑन कैम्पास क्वेश्चन दिस इयर सो उदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स गो before we start the session we have to know the precedence and associativity rule right so at the first the operates operation of round bracket will be first right and uh, the logical and operator has greater precedence than logical or operator right and the bitwise and operator has greater precedence than logical and operator right and assignment operator i mean the is equal to operator has greater precedence than assignment operator right okay let's go to the questions that will be more easier to understand so the first question is this please pause the video and try to solve the problem right okay i'm solving the problem hey look here carefully uh, x y and z was initialized and a is equal to x and and y x means 1 and y means 0 right so 1 and and 0 is always 0 right because false and true is false so we have seen that 0 or or z plus plus right according to the short circuit rule in case of or operator if the first statement is true then we will not go to check the value of the other part of or operator right and in case of logical and operator we would not have checked the other part of the and logical and operator if the first statement was false but in this case value is zero in case of logical or operator so we have to check the other part as well so the value was z right z plus plus right z was 5 and 5 plus plus that means 6 so z is now becomes 6 so the value of z so we have to print right so the value of z is 6 so the answer is a okay let's go to the next question that is what is the output of this code look here carefully is equal to i mean logical equal to operator is here so we have to check that first right so 0 is equal to is equal to 1 is this no if this is false that means x is equal to false or 0 right so at the first x is equal to 0 and and k plus plus but we don't have to check the other part of and logical and operator because according to short circuit rule if the first statement is false in case of logical and operator then we don't have to check the other part right because both the statement should be true in case of logical and operator so the value of k plus plus will not be evaluated so the value of k was 0 and will be sorry k value of k was 8 and will be 8 right so the value of x is now 0 but the k is 8 right so the answer will be 0 8 okay so i hope you have got the answer right okay let's go to the next question and before we proceed to the next question i am requesting you to please watch the previous videos regarding accenture on campus of campus right uh, that will help you most right and please subscribe this channel okay the question is this please try to pause the video and solve the problem here uh, the value so here and operator will be first evaluated right then the value of logical or operator will be evaluated so look here carefully d is equal to at first in uh, pre increment of a will be here right so plus plus a means 1 plus plus 5 that means a is 6 now right a is 6 and and plus plus b that means 6 and and 
minus 6 right plus 7 and sorry minus 7 and plus 1 is minus 6 right so the value of b is now become minus 6 right 6 and and minus 6 is what non zero value logical and operator non zero value is always returning 1 i mean true right true then or operator logical or operator plus plus c if in case of logical or operator the if the first statement is true then we don't have to check the other part right so the value of plus plus c will not be evaluated so the value of c was zero and will be zero right so one or or zero means what that is true so the value of d will be one right so the value of a b c d is being printed so the a is 6 b is minus 6 and c is 0 and d is 1 right so 6 minus 6 0 1 the answer will be d right okay let's go to the next question i have i hope you have got the logic so the next question is this x is 2 and y is 0 so what will be the answer okay let me show you that y or is equal to 10 means y is equal to y or operator logic i mean bitwise or operator and 10 right if this then can you solve okay if can't solve then come to watch right so the look here carefully y is 0 right at first it was initialized so if z is equal to at the first is 0 then and operator is starting right logical and operator what i have told you that if the operator uh, if the one of the value is zero in case of logical and operator then it will be what it will not execute the other part of the and operator right so the value of y bitwise or operator 10 will not be evaluated so z is equal to zero right so this will be the answer b right okay let's go to the next question if you face any problem then please come to the comment section and give your query right so this is a quiz question for you please pause the video and try to solve the problem the question is regarding unary or operator unary operator right if not possible then obviously ask me in comment section right okay the next question is also a quiz question for you and these are very important for your upcoming exam right because this was asked in a previous on campus questions and these questions are very 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 important and very confusional so please pause the video and solve the problem okay the next question is this please pause and solve okay i'm solving x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 z is equal to 5 so a is equal to at the first as i have told you that logical and operator has precedence i mean has associativity from left to right right so at the first the this part i mean the first part of this will be evaluated x and and y that means 1 and and 0 right so 1 and and 0 means what zero right false and true is false so zero and and z zero and and z plus plus but zero is already the first statement so the z plus plus will not be evaluated i have been tolding you telling you that the other part of the and operator will not be evaluated because the other part of and operator because the first part of the and operator is zero false right so the value was five i mean the z value was five so this will print five right okay i hope you have got the answer so the next question is this this is the second last question of this session please pause the video and give me your solution if not possible then come to me right okay let's see here b is equal to 3 and and 5 right so the, the value of 3 and and 5 will actually returning 
will return 1 because because non zero and non zero is always true right so this will return 1 then bitwise and operator then 4 mod 3 4 mod 3 means 4 divided by 3 uh, this will give a remainder of 1 the uh, the value 1 will be here right 1 bitwise and operator and 1 what will be the answer the answer will be 1.0 because the this is a double variable right so that's why total value of b will be printed as 1.0 i mean total six zeros will be printed right so i hope you have got the answer so the next question is this i am assuring you that if you have watched all the videos in this channel regarding pseudocode or programming logic you will have common questions in your exam right okay let's solve the problem at the first the round bracket will be evaluated right so the round bracket is uh, y is equal to 10 i mean the assign of assignment operator right so at the address memory address of y the value is now stored as 0 10 right so y is now 10 this is changed from the memory address then it comes to evaluate the outer part of the round bracket operator right so now z is equal to y and plus 10 as we have assigned y as 10 now so y this y will be also 10 so the value of z is now become 10 plus 10 that means 20 right it is not 12 because this actually this is very confusional so please think very carefully right so i hope in this session you have gathered a little knowledge about programming logic precedence and associativity right please watch the playlist regarding accenture best of luck